This is the final video for the bamboo wood flooring series that me and my wife did. We usually are in a habit, uh, or at least I am more so, to keep track of all the expenses, the receipts uh, and everything. So uh, this part of the video is just to give you an idea as to how much it will cost if uh, somebody uh, or if you would, uh, how much it would cost for somebody to do this project on their own. Uh, with nothing in hand so it the cost may obviously go up or go down based on uh, maybe possibly the tools you have the layout of the house you have uh, and and uh, and factors like that so what you see in front of you is my pivot uh, of the excel data i usually track all my expenses in excel and that's the pivot made from the excel data uh, what I've done is taken all the individual expenses and categorized them into different categories. Uh, and that's what I'm showing on the graph. So uh, as anyone would guess, the floors will take up chunk of the expense. Uh, we paid uh, for premium bamboo uh, floors from Floor and & Decor and cost us about, I think, $2.83 or maybe $2.87, something like that in that range. Uh, uh, per square feet so uh, half of the cost uh, goes uh, into the floors and then uh, we had uh, I had a bunch of expenses for the self-leveling cement my house is old uh, it may not be as uh, other houses uh, may not need it at all but I had to treat my house with self-leveling uh, cement and that cost a bunch of money it cost about 30 40 I think dollars a bag and I used up uh, plenty bag, plenty of bags. And then you have the underlayment over here. We used premium uh, underlayment uh, uh, for our house and that took a bunch of cost. So about almost 75% of the entire cost went into flooring, self-leveling and underlayment. The rest of the 25% uh, cost uh, are divided into several things, smaller chunks basically. If I start from the bottom over here on the tool section, um, it, it, uh, I did have to buy tools that I never owned before. For example, this, this a, there's a whole bunch of dust uh, that uh, gets into the air when we remove old carpets, for example, or when we are mixing the self-leveling cement. Need some, needed some kind of good air purifier uh, with kids around and pets around and even us adults uh, to try to control that uh, uh, the dust amount. Also had to buy tools like Dremel uh, laser levels and maybe a whole self-leveling kit that you can buy. Uh, things like that, that cost me over $600. And then there were miscellaneous costs and uh, I was surprised how much it cost me just little trips to Home Depot, little trip to Lowe's or other uh, you know home box stores and things you buy from Amazon, paint, tapes, uh, sealants and glues and filters etc. They, they cost me about $600. Uh, then the mold transitions, these, these mold transitions uh, are used uh, in between rooms or between the bathroom, in, uh, at the thresholds basically, between rooms and uh, between a room and a bathroom for example. And then it cost me about $400 for the rentals. I had to rent uh, 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 expensive tools like floor maintainers for example, that's used to sort of scrub the floor and uh, uh, is sand basically or s uh, really sand uh, the floor and I had to rent it uh, three or four times and that cost about hundred bucks each time we rent uh, from Home Depot then the subfloor cost me around four hundred dollars I do have a section in the house a very small section probably 30 40 square feet that was sunken floor and I had to rebuild the floor uh, I've already posted that video how I did that, but that cost me about $400. And then the plumbing. So when we take out the uh, floors, um, it, uh, it it's better to do any kind of plumbing, any kind of pipe coming out of the ground. It's probably the best time to do it before we put the new floors in. So it cost me a little bit to do some plumbing uh, uh, from, a, from a professional, about $200 and that covers all the categories now if i add up all my expenses it comes to eleven thousand one hundred and eighty four dollars so roughly eleven thousand two hundred dollars and that's how much it cost us to diy bamboo wood flooring in a eighteen hundred and fifty square foot house so hopefully that helps uh, thanks for watching